I'm jumping on the Budget With Me bandwagon, so stay tuned to see what we have planned for February 2019. Hi friends, I'm Jen with The Budget Bounce. We use a budget to tell our money what to do, including bouncing debt out the door. We share our ups and downs from living life on a budget and tackling a $252,000 mountain of stupid debt. If you'd like to follow us on our journey and learn more about living life on a budget, being intentional with your money, and making your money work for you, then click on that subscribe button below and be sure to tap on the bell so you'll get notifications every time I post a new video. You can also find me on Instagram. Just look for the budget bounce. So welcome to my very first budget with me. I decided that it was time to start sharing the budget prep with you, so here we are. This was one of my goals in 2019, but I know many of you out there watch these by several people every month, and those people are seasoned, and they have this down. So I hope that this comes across in a way that is understandable for everyone, and if not, I would love to hear from you on how I can improve. So let me show you guys the spreadsheet, and we'll jump in. All right, so here is the template that I am working with that I have set up for February. Here are the steps that I've done before I got on here to record. I took our January budget, which is over here. I took this tab and I copied it and I pasted it over into a new tab for February. Then what I did was I removed all of the actuals out of this column so that those are blank. I also had to update the income. I had a slight change in mine because benefits were set at the beginning of the year, so I had to make an adjustment. And then I also identified some giving that we're doing in, in February, and I've already got that all set up. So with this, you can see we're working with $8,798 in income in February, and we are gonna be doing $30 in giving. We already know that. So now what I'm gonna do is go through each category line by line to talk about what we will be doing in February. All right, moving on to housing. You can see here we have our mortgage set at 936.04. Our utilities for gas and electric, this is the highest that it's ever been for us. So that is at 207 and that's set for the next month. The utilities through water for water, garbage and sewer, those are actually through the city and those are due quarterly and they're due in January, April, July, and October. So we've already paid January, so we won't be paying anything for that in February. All right, and then for mobile devices, this is what it was in January, but it actually is going down. It's 216 something, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in $217 for February, and that's because we had a plan change. So mobile devices will be 217, that's just for services. Mobile, I'm sorry, that's for mobile services. Mobile devices, I need to update that. Mobile devices are actually gonna be down in debt. So that's a separate line item. Internet is set at $89.99 per month, bringing our total housing to $1,450 and change. Then we have our transportation section. Here we have gas and OnStar. And so um, I always budget $300 for gas. And then OnStar is $35.99, and this is important to me, and so this is something that I and Matt agreed would stay in the budget. Moving on, we didn't, we don't plan on having any, any repairs for the Lucerne or the Traverse in February, and then registration, I already paid that in January, so that's coming out. So that puts us at $335 for transportation in February. Moving on to groceries, I have been pretty steadily putting in 425 for groceries and 75 for dining, and we have managed to stay within that budget. And so that amount is working for us right now, so that's 500 total for the month of February. For the Henry category, I don't have any school fees to pay for the rest of the year unless something comes up that he needs to be participating in. I don't have anything else. Uh, school lunches, I paid $97.05 in uh, January, so he should be set for February, but in very early March, I will definitely be buying more for his uh, lunch services fund. Mathnasium, we are paid through March at this point, so there is nothing coming out in February. 
And then Blackhawk College dual credit. This is actually because Henry takes dual credit courses through the local community college. And I thought we were gonna pay for that in January and I have not received the bill. So we will be paying for that in February. And that comes out of a sinking fund. So I should actually reflect that up here in income. That's why I have extra line items up here. So we'll have, oops. Uh, Henry School, and we will put 152.95 that will be coming in for that, which increases our income that we're working with. All right, moving on to pets, we get our long-haired cat groomed every four weeks, so that is fifteen dollars. So that's always in here. Food, we just bought cat food. I'm gonna leave forty dollars in here. Um, that forty fifty six was from last month for January where we bought cat food. I'm going to leave $40 in here because I do believe that the dog food's actually behind me here and I believe it's getting pretty low so we're, it's about time to buy a new bag. So our total pets is going to be $55 and that's going to impact my sinking fund when we get down below. All right, so insurance, this is all of the insurance that is coming out. All of these line items down to here. These are all coming out of our paychecks. And then when we get down here, union dues are not insurance, but I don't have anywhere else to reflect that deduction. So I leave it in here. And then all of these items here, all of these are through State Farm. These are our multiple lines of coverage that we have with them. And then the last one is Xander Identity Theft Protection Insurance. So insurance comes in at $1,197 for February. Entertainment, here we have Hulu, Netflix. Those are standard services. Then we have our HP Inc. service. We pay $10.61 a month for. And then the Cinemark Movie Club, that is $9.62 every month. Family entertainment this month, it's $50. The only reason that it was 63 last month was because I had leftover from December to roll over to January. Also, Matt and Henry's Marvel comic subscription, it's an annual fee of $69. That renews every January. And so I'm gonna delete this because it's already paid and we don't have to pay anything else again until next January. For health, I'm not anticipating that we'll have to buy any prescriptions out of pocket. I have new FSA, so hopefully that won't be an issue. I did cancel Weight Watchers because I'm not using it, so I canceled that. The gym will be $10.05, and I'm going to change the doctor to $100, and this is why. I actually ended up going to the emergency room. It's been about a week and a half ago now, so it was in January. I'm fine. I know that there are going to be some residual uh, bills that come aside from the emergency room copay that we're going to have to pay. So that puts us at $110 for the month of February. In extras, this is kind of where like we have things that pop up and they don't really belong in any one certain place. So I just put them in this extras column. So what we have here is a car seat and we are going to be buying a car seat for our vehicle for Nikaila, our granddaughter. We've already bought the kids one for their car and we did that in January and we're going to be doing another one in February and we know that it's not going to cost 200 We know it's going to be about 175 for the one that we're going to buy. I don't have any plans to buy any curtains for any other rooms. We don't have any plans for Matt's business, which is called Owen's Place, to have any costs. I think I'm going to have, I'm gonna just move this up here, just make it cleaner. I think I'm going to have a $15 appointment. I get my eyebrows waxed every five weeks. So I, I don't remember if I have one in February or not, but I always plan for one every month. And with that, I will use a sinking fund you cover that so that increases my total income to work with to help offset this cost down here whoops right here so our total extras is going to be $190 so in the crap I forgot about that it's actually not as bad as it used to be because I have this other spreadsheet here that I want to share with you guys Okay, so what I did here was I just developed this 
to try to get a handle on the things that come up that are not expected or I need to make sure that I remember to plan for. So what I do here is I'm looking at February and I'm just going to filter by this month to see what has an X in it and my mom's birthday and actually I won't be spending 50 it'll be 30 and then tax prep this will not be nearly as, as expensive this year I'm gonna put it at 250 uh, I think I'm gonna be able to do my taxes without a tax prep service this year and then we'll have to pay for Matt because Matt had his own business doing the paper route and everything in 2018 so these are things that I've already accounted for for my mom's gift in the giving and then tax preparation I need to come back over here to this in extras and I need to put in tax prep 250 so right now we're planning on $440 and there's not anything about crap I forgot about that for this time. this category may end up going away because I've kind of gotten that under control in envelopes, we have a miscellaneous envelope. This is an electronic envelope. And then spending for me and Matt, we each get $40 for the month. And so I pull that out at the beginning of the month and we each have cash. And then for toiletries, it's just an electronic envelope and that's $40 a month. All right, moving into the budget bounce. So I don't have any plans of spending any money on education. The equipment, I already did that with my Christmas money in January. And then online subscriptions is going to be $9.99 a month because I did sign up for Adobe Spark. Okay, moving into the, um, the savings categories, all three of these, these, I'm sorry, these two savings categories, are they represent different things. So first is savings. I moved our emergency fund into a savings category and because of some things that happened in November and December. I would really like to get some more money in there. So we are just going to do $50 a month to steadily build it. Then I have auto transfer set up for accounts for the kids and if and kind of make these an extension of the emergency fund. If we don't if we cannot cash flow something and the kids need something, this is where I'm coming to get the money. The other things I decided to add to this are our retirement accounts. The sinking funds, I auto registrations. I didn't put anything in in January, so I had to get brand new plates and registration. And so the $18 I put away every month, I just used it last month. So I need to now, it's $9 per car is what it costs. $9 per car per month for us for registration. So I need to do $18. So that will, you can see the, the balances will update when I actually do the transfers. You'll see the balances update over there on the right. I'm going to delete that for now. All right, city utilities. This is the thing that I said was due every quarter. Clothing, we put $40 in every month. Estate planning, I don't have, we have some money in there, but we don't have any plans to put anything in there else in there anytime soon. Gifts, we do $40 a month. This is for non-holiday gifts. Henry School, so I have bumped this up to $250 a month, and that is because he has a lot going on right now, and he's in his last year and a half of high school, and things are just going to, they're going to come and, and surprise us if we don't have enough in here. So that's $250 now. Holidays, oh, and I didn't have it in there for January because I spent it all in January, so I never put anything in there. I just cash flowed what I had to spend. Holidays, we have $50 a month. So this is for all of our holiday expenses, whether it's gift or gifts or anything else. Image cosmetics, I didn't do anything last month because I had my hair appointment, and so I spent it instead of passing it through the sinking fund. I do $50 a month here. This is for me to do my hair and my eyebrows. I get my hair done every 10 weeks and my eyebrows done every five weeks. And then Matt and Henry for their haircuts. All right, life insurance, Prudential, we just paid for that in January, my annual premium. I put away $81 a month for this. Online subscriptions, but $40 a month to cover up, to cover any online subscriptions that come up. Pet expense, okay, so I said I was gonna reference the fact that I'm gonna spend $40 on food up here in the pet category. So I'm gonna reduce this by $40 because if I wasn't spending it, it would go to the sinking fund. So I'm only gonna put 45 in the sinking fund this month. 
technology. It's a line item because I don't want to forget to add it in at some point, but we are not funding that right now. Travel, I need to bump to 250. This is basically to get ready for FinCon. I should probably just change this to FinCon. But uh, this is for my trip in September. Vacation, I'm setting aside $100 a month right now for Henry and Matt to take a vacation this summer. I don't think we're going to be able to afford for all three of us to go. And I, I want to, I want them to be able to go somewhere this year because we have not gone anywhere since 2016 and they haven't had a real vacation since then. Vehicles, this is kind of like a vehicle repair replace fund. The last thing is wedding anniversary. This is so we have some spending money for our wedding anniversary, which is in May. And so that is building up as well. And so that is $1,159 going to sinking funds. Moving on to debt. These are all of the debts that we have paid off. Let's jump into what we have here. So here you can see City Card Diamond. That's that pesky card, that credit card that I used in December and forgot to pay on. And so I had a balance. So I made sure and got that paid off in January. So because it is now at zero, I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it up here into the, I just use this line to separate what's been paid off because I'm not going to pay anything here. Anything that is in black font is uh, debt that is in Matt's name and anything that's in pink font is debt that is in my name. So we have Matt's phone and my phone that are on our mobile device, our mobile services bill. And so that is actually that whole thing is in Matt's name. Then here is an old Tires Plus uh, card, our Kohl's card, care credit, another a Capital One GM card that I had. This is my 401k loan. This is a private student loan. This is actually in both our names, but I, I highlighted it in pink so that I remember that my name's on it. And this was for when Matt was going to school. And then uh, City Card, <laughs> that whole debacle. <laughs> and then uh, my Lowe's card that I had, and then a Marriott Rewards Visa. This is the Traverse, this is that car payment. I just did a, a video last week talking about whether or not we were going to sell our car. So I will leave that up in the, the corner up here for you, a card, if you'd like to watch that, if you haven't seen it already. This is Matt's child support at $725 a month. And then this is a personal loan that I pay to my parents. So these are all of our debts. These are the minimum payments on all of our debts. So these are all debts that are in Matt's name. And we are not paying on any of these because they are way far charged off and somewhere with collectors. I know where they are, but they are not something that is urgent. And Matt, Matt actually made it clear that he wants us to focus on the things that are in my name. So that is what we're doing. Not everybody agrees with that and I totally get it, but this is what we're doing. So we are not currently paying these, but I have them here because someday we are going to settle all of these and get them paid. And his student loans are deferred and you can see it's going up every month. Fantastic. So I'm gonna move this, somehow this got bumped. I've never really talked about this column. Gosh darn it. Something got messed up here with my formulas. So I, what this is, is calculating the interest that goes with each of the line items. So this is four and a half percent and it actually goes with my 401k loan. And this $41 here goes with my, uh, this is 8.75. So that goes with the private student loan. And when you do this, you can see it's calculating off of the correct line. It's just not reflected on the right line. So anyway, this, oh, I talked about how much interest we're paying. $777 is how much we have to pay in February in interest. This is, some of this is estimated. Like, I don't know for sure that that's what the student loans are. And I don't know for sure that 187 is what child support is. I'm guessing. And we get updates every few months and then I, I update it. So here's where we're at. Our total, our total debt payments are $2,879.
and our total expenses come to $8,848, but our income is at $8,966, so we have $118 left over. So what we will do is we will apply that to a debt of our choice. Since we can't make partial payments on the phones, you have to have the whole amount available and pay it all at once. We're not going to be doing that. And I did that video about how we're, we are tweaking Dave Ramsey's baby steps. Remember our budget is Dave Ramsey inspired, but we are making changes. And one of the things that we are going to do is we're gonna tackle our traverse. We are going to try to get this paid down, this head boy as soon as possible. So if I'm doing a zero based budget, I'm adding these up, they come to 668.09 and that brings us to zero. So that's our plan. Now I will tell you, I adjust throughout the month all the time. So um, we start with a plan and then I make uh, adjustments based on what's happening in the actual column for the whole budget. So let's see here. Uh, our starting balance from the very beginning was $252,326. We are starting this the month of February with $229,000 and change. Right now this is showing paid as negative because none of these are, are moved over, but let me just do that real quick. So now it's showing we paid $2,205 off. Now, notice we paid $3,000, but only $2,205 of our loan, or our actual debt was paid down because of all this pesky interest. And then our total paid to date after February will be $25,389. Now, I can tell you right now, these numbers are going to fluctuate. They are not going to stay. They will be different because January is not done yet. So I have not done our, our snowball payment for January our extra payment on to the perverse. I'm waiting for everything to to um, finish up for January. All of our bills are paid, but in case there are any other, you know, like we have to get gas or something. We can't wait until Friday when I get paid again. So this is definitely going to fluctuate and I enjoy being able to watch how I can make that go up and down. And so yeah, we're gonna be at, we're gonna break $25,000 in February and I'm really excited about that. So I feel like this was really long and I apologize because I committed to myself that I was gonna try and keep all my budget videos under 20 minutes. Hopefully I will have through editing been able to cut this down, but as I look at this, we're at 36 minutes is how long I've been talking about this. That's without the intro that was another couple of minutes. So hoping that I can get this pared down so that it is closer to 20 minutes for you. <laughs> anyway, I think I shared way more than I needed to this month, but we haven't really talked about this in a really long time, so it was good for me to talk through it with you. I appreciate it. it, it it's great if you made it this far, you know, you know, bravo, because these are not easy to watch when someone just rambles and rambles and rambles. And so I certainly can appreciate the time that you guys are spending to follow our journey and hopefully, you know, learn and glean some things from us. Um, primarily not making the same mistakes that we have or do make because uh, we are not perfect. We are starting our second year on a budget on February 1st and I'm really excited for that, but we, and we are so much better than we used to be, but we still have room for improvement. That is our February 2019 budget. That's all I've got for you today. Till next time.